This is Dabu 7. We have the Trump administration now pushing agencies to speed up vaccine development. And this is being dubbed Operation Warp Speed. This is a plan to accelerate the vaccine development. And it involves the Department of Health and Human Services, the Food and Drug Administration, and other government agencies. They're saying that it is clearly another extension of Trump's bold leadership and unwillingness to accept business as usual in terms of addressing the whole issue that we're facing. We've discussed all the different timelines and what they've stated, how different places are going to go about opening up in different ways. And we've discussed how Bill Gates just constantly keeps saying that no one is going to be able to get back to normal unless the whole planet is vaccinated. So this is going right along those lines with all of that right now at this moment with this Operation Warp Speed. Now, there's quite a few other things that tie into this, but they're rather lengthy. I'm going to break them down on the next live stream, going live tonight, matter of fact, and going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over here on DLive at 9 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to join us. There are links below in the description box. Much love. All roads lead to prophecy. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ocha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have taught me his truth as well as men of like mind. Shalom, Wa Chasad to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians and Israelite foreigners who have the appearance of the holy heathen nations but are of the seed line of our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob whom is scattered here in America which is Babylon the Great and abroad to you I say Shalom and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah this lesson is edifying and informative the hegemony of the wicked that is Pursuant to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, Esau, Edom, which today they are known as the so-called Caucasian race, the so-called white race, in whose hand, which in the Hebrew is Yad, which means power, strength, pursuant to the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, the earth has been given into, and his time is coming to an abrupt end and understanding this they are pushing towards enforcing and fulfilling their new world order agenda which is to cause all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that mark is the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And that is why these devils have been coming down, having great wrath, using gradualism, because they know that they have but a short time. And now they're going to say, well, look, the whole world needs to be vaccinated to mitigate any potential risk of reinfection and also any other disease from spreading. So this is the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he, now the he is Esau, Edom, his elites. His different families, man. The Oppenheimer, the Getty, the Dupont, the Lees, the Rothschilds. The list goes on. Of course, if all, all people on the face of the planet Earth, 
both small and great. Whether it be a baby to a very elderly senior in society, rich and poor, whether they be rich or whether they be poor in this society, free and bond, whether a person be free in this society or in bondage in the jail systems to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that word mark goes back to the Greek word karagma, karagma, which means an imprinted mark or a stamp. Okay? And that imprinted mark is a RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And the root word of karagma is charax, which means a palisade or stake. And the syringe mechanism that is used to puncture the flesh of an individual to then inject, to then insert the RFID microchip has the appearance of a palisade or a stake. And likewise, the RFID microchip, because it's small as, as a grain of rice and it has like a pointed look. But that syringe also looks like a palisade or a stake. And the root word of Jarox is grafo, which means of the writings, filled with the writings. Because within the RFID market chip is where people's information is going to be filled, is going to be stored, is going to be kept. Their financial information, their medical information, their political information where they, where they, where they stand, their views, their cultural background, so on and so forth. They're going to have everything within those chips in which they're pushing for the world to mandatorily receive. And there's also people out there in the world that have willingly received the RFID market chip as a means of so-called convenience to open up their doors or the snap of their fingers, open up their cars from a distance, and lock it, make purchases by simply swiping their hands over our machine reader. And a lot of people have taken it in Sweden. Why do you think Sweden then had to lock down? Because they're already, they're already being tracked. People are already, already being tracked. Now we have the chip. In their right hand or in their foreheads. In front of their brain. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. And the beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU with America being an extension of that empire. That is the beast. Or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding come the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Six six six. And this is his barcode system that supports his infrastructure of the chip. Under something called blockchain technology. That is centralized. That is under the watch of one world of a one world government, not decentralized. Also, in the Greek, six 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 is chai, sty, stigma. Chai and sty both means X mark. And there's a saying in the world: X marks the spot. When you look at certain medical movies. Before a physician, a doctor, or a nurse punctures the flesh of an individual with a syringe, they would mark like a circle or an X with a dot in the middle of the area that they're going to puncture before they do. That's them marking the spot. 
The spot of what? The spot of puncture. And st uh, stigma. Stigma means stamp. And when you look at the online etymology dictionary, figuratively, it means a mark of disgrace. So this chip, it's a mark of disgrace. A very great disgrace unto those that take it because they're going to be destroyed by way of fire. The elect of the nation of Israel, Lord Zulang, I'm of the Lord's elect, as well as you brothers, are not going to take that chip because the Lord of the Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be with us. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to keep us and preserve us from taking it. Now let's get the judgment for those that take it and conclude the lesson. That's Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and the image of the beast is the system of the beast. That is comprised of what? Is educational system. His health system, his political system, his religious system, his infrastructure, his beliefs, his laws, all these things comprise the image of the beast, which is the system of the beast. And receive his mark in, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And so the wrath of the Most High here is being likened unto wine that is poured out into a cup which is being likened unto his indignation, in which two-thirds of the nation of Israel and those that receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead and worship the image of the beast will drink all the way down to the dregs and ultimately get destroyed. And this wine will be without mixture, it will be without it's not going to get diluted <laughs> with the lack of words. It's not going to be weakened. It's going to be at its full force. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone by way of thermonuclear fire and by way of the concentrated rays of light that will be shot forth from the chariots of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shah, which are known as the so called UFOs, considered to be so called UFOs. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time, to them that's going to be destroyed over here in America, Babylon the Great, right along with Babylon the Great, by way of thermonuclear fire. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. That is the judgment. That is the judgment to those that receive the RFID market chip that submit to the Nor Order agenda of Esau Edom. But unto the elect of the nation of Israel, fear not. For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is with us. So with that I say Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kodash. Rakatam to the elect and Lord's own this lesson was edifying and informative. Until the next I say shalom. Lord's willing.